Catholic High School has an opportunity to perform at the most magical place on earth, and you can help them get there. Eva Stockhammer, Kelsey Barton, and Kevin Campbell join me this morning to tell you more. Great to have you all here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. So Kelsey and Kevin, you are seniors. This is a big year yeah. for you. There's a lot going on. Very <laughs> exciting. We're going to hear all about it. Eva, tell us about this opportunity that they've been given to perform in Disney World. My pleasure. I had seen something online that said, oh, go ahead and submit a video to Disney and see if your group can earn the right to perform. So it was an audition process. I filled out the form and I was asked to send a tape and I was really excited about it, but I didn't say much. Sent it out and forgot about it. And then I got an email and a card in the mail that said, your group has been selected. And it was off of a previous show that we did last winter called Curtains. And it was a really fast paced, fun, a lot of dance. So I was very excited about that particular piece to send. And whenever they said we had been selected, I didn't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> I was very How am I going to tell them? Yeah. yeah. That's right. so exciting. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure that the, there's so many different groups that submit their work to yes. perform at Disney. Mm -hmm. So very exciting. Now you'll be going down in April. What will you be performing down there? All different songs from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. So, a lot yes. of different songs. Oh yeah, <laughs> looking forward to it. But mm -hmm. obviously, for their whole group to get down there, you have to raise some money to get there. But it's an opportunity of a lifetime. Now, there's a fundraiser coming up. Tell us about that fundraiser, Eva. Fundraiser is called Bits of Beatles. Um, I just had the idea. I thought it'd be really cool and clever for people to have kids sing Beatles. And of course, Beatles were all men. So to have the females involved in it, the harmonies are really pretty. And I thought, you know what? Everybody likes Beatles. And it's also one of those generational things that you find that little kids know the songs and the older people know the songs. So I thought, this might be some way to generate some money. And the nicest thing is for performers to perform, to kind of sing for their supper, if you will, mm -hmm. and get to Disney that way. So it's, it's our largest fundraiser to date for this. Really? Oh my goodness. And of course, it's going to be the Beatles music, which yeah. is so, so yeah. awesome. And now you've been rehearsing for a while for this performance. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and what are you guys looking forward to, just about the whole process, the going to Disney, every, everything that's going to be happening in the future? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity. We were, uh, I was in Disney last summer, and I saw the people on where we're going to perform, so I had no idea that I would actually be doing this this coming April. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I'm sure you're watching them like, that is so cool. I know. <laughs> I was like, how would yeah. I do that? And hey, guess what? You're going. That's so mm -hmm. great. But yeah, so you do have to raise some money. So we're encouraging the community to come out and support you. Tell us the details. How can people do that, Eva? A couple of ways. They can certainly attend the show. A full audience makes for a fun night no matter what. Um, there's also email. They can email me. I can let them know some details. I have had some folks contact me just to have direct donations because they're so impressed and proud of the kids that they never even met. Um, they can also attend some of the other fundraisers that we're going to be having going forward. But the best way right now is to come to the Beatles and hear them sing. And that is on Friday and Saturday, February 8th and 9th at 7.30 p.m. at Mary Mother of Hope Church Hall in Springfield. Yes. Yeah. Have you been rehearsing a lot for this? I mean, you have a lot yeah. to rehearse for, of course, <laughs> but uh, have you been uh, singing Beatles music at home all the time, rehearsing? Oh, yeah, yeah all the time. <laughs> iPods going. Always in your head, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you are seniors, so obviously this is your last year of high school. Yep. Will you continue, continue the performing arts after high school? do you think? Definitely. Uh, performing arts has played much of a bigger impact mm -hmm. in my life than I ever thought it would and I definitely want to continue it as long as I can. And what about you Kevin? I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to do engineering so that's very demanding but I think that acting just in general teach you a lot of life skills mm -hmm. like getting in front of people and being confident. You never know where your exactly. path will lead you, though. Hey, you, we could see you in a movie next year, right? Exactly. Well, it's good to have you guys here. Best of luck. Congratulations to your home. whole yeah. group. Everyone's here, right? They can all wave. <laughs> good to have you guys here. They're our live studio audience, too. Thank you. And Eva, congrats on all that you've done to get them there as well. So excited. Thank good you, to you have very you. much. Thanks for having us. And Thank to learn you. more about their upcoming performance and fundraiser, log on to mymassappeal.com later today.